Welcome to Office 2010 Video Project 38. Hey, we're talking about Excel, uh, and we're on the sheet called If1, and then we're going to look at If2 next. Uh, we're going to talk about the If function. And again, this is one of those things people say, oh, advanced Excel. Um, but no, it's really quite easy. All of us have been in this situation, and here it is. We have to decide whether your sales are high enough to get a bonus. So here's the hurdle. Your boss, your contract says, if you get over 50K, you get a $500 bonus, right? So what do we have to do? What's the logic behind that? Well, all of us can immediately say, yes, I got the bonus. Well, let's just back up a little bit and not just jump to the conclusion, but break down what we did. What do we do? We took this into our brain and then compared it to this. This was greater than or equal to this. So we went, yay, we get 500. Now, a lot of times in spreadsheets, you have an either or. So either or, there's either a 0 or a 500 that goes into this cell. So now, if your sales are 40,000, what happens? Now this is less than 50,000, so we get a 0. Right? So the idea is one or two things into a cell using some logical test, then we can use what's called the if function. And it's great because they named the function uh, quite smartly, right? If you're over the hurdle, you get 500. Otherwise, you don't. Now I'm going to control Z and give us uh, 65,000 here and remove this. Before we do the if, though, let's learn about what's called a logical formula. Now, in logic, there's two things, two possibilities, true or false. So here it goes. Here's a logical formula. You say equals, and our whole goal is to compare these. Your sales, are they, and now greater than or equal to. We saw this earlier in this video series. There's no single character, so we have to type an equal, a uh, greater than, and then the equal. The equal always comes second when you're doing a greater than or less than or equal to. All right, and then we click here. Now, as soon as you do equal sign as the first character and you have some comparative operator in your formula, it's called a logical formula. And there's only two formula results that can uh, occur, true or false. Let's test it. Let's change it. Notice we're assuming our boss and the person who wrote our contract is, is kind, right? So if we get exactly on 50,000, we still get our boss, our bonus. All right, so let's change this. Let's make it something really small, just one dollar, or even you know forty-nine thousand nine hundred ninety-nine. Still, it reads false because the logical test is this greater than or equal to that, and it's false. Now, what? Let's make it fifty thousand. That's the equal part. True. Notice we're testing when you're testing a logical formula or later our if function. You always test above the hurdle, below the hurdle, and right on. All right, so we're going to go back to 65,000. All right, so true, false. That's a logical formula. Now let's do another logical formula again before we do our if, because the whole uh, essence of the if is a true, false test, um, which we're doing in our logical formula. Now, a lot of times we have uh, spreadsheets, whether they're, it's accounting, debit, credit, or budgets, or you're comparing accounts, and they always have to be in balance. Well, we can do a logical formula here. We could say, is this column, the debit column, equal to the credit column? In accounting, debits have to equal credits. Now, notice the first equal sign is telling the cell or Excel, hey, I'm making a formula. The second one is a comparative operator. We're comparing these two things. All right. Now, in this case, maybe you want it to say debits equal credits. And then if it's not, you want to say trouble or not in balance or debits don't equal credits. And here, here we want one of two words in the cell. Here we want one of two numbers in the cell. As soon as you want something besides true and false, then that's where the if function comes in. Now, I'm going to type in equal. And again, they named the if function smartly, if. There's a logical test. That's what they call the, the what we did, a logical formula up here. We're going to actually put the exact same thing here. 
So we already kind of know how to do a logical formula or logical test. That's the hard part. The easy part is comma, please put in whatever you want in the cell if it's true, which is our bonus 500, comma, and then whatever to put in the cell if it's false, which is 0. So our logical test are our sales greater than or equal to the hurdle. That's the hard part, the logical test. Comma, remember, these are just what you want to throw in the cell if it's true or false. So true, boom. Comma, false, a 0. Now, you could put the 0 in a cell, but if it's always going to be 0, that's an example of a number that never changes. So there you go. That's our formula. Oh, that is so cool. Let's test it. Remember three things. Above, below, oh man, and right on. So it's working good. If, totally powerful when you're putting one of two things in a cell. All right, now let's come over here. Now, F2, I put one of two numbers here. Escape. Here we want one of two words. We saw earlier in this class when we did text formulas, any time you start putting text into a formula, you got to put it in double quotes. All right, so here's our if equals if logical test. I'm just going to say, hey, is this equal to this? That's the hard part. Comma now, what if you want in the cell if it's true? Well, we, you could put whatever text you want. I'm going to put in balance. So we have our value of false. I'm going to type a comma. I mean, I, we have our value of true. I'm going to type a comma. Value of false is going to be something like not in balance. You can put whatever you want, if, as long as it's in between double quotes. We have our thing that goes in the cell if it's false, thing that goes in the cell if the logical test is true. And there's our logical test, enter. So in balance. All right, so let's enter some data here. 12 and a 12. Uh, what? 164 does not equal 164. In what universe is that true? Oh, wait a second. This must be right, because Excel formulas don't make math and logical errors. There must be some other. Oh, I bet you it is formatting. If we highlight this and increase the decimals, ah, look, I accidentally typed a point 0.1. The formulas were not tricked by formatting. Um, but we were just by looking at the formatting. Not the formula, so it caught it. All right, let's go ahead and edit this. All right, so we saw logical test, a if function formula that put one of two numbers, another logical test, and a if function that put one of two words. Now, let's look at another example. Let's go over to if2. Stand with still the bonus theme. But here, what we're going to do is we're going to have a number of employees. Here's their sales. And here's our bonus hurdle and the amount they get. But what we'd like is we'd like to do a logical formula, also known as the logical test in the if function. Then we want to do a formula that puts yes or no, and then the actual formula for the bonus amount. Here we'll have to think about cell references also, because we're going to be copying the formula. All right, equal sign tells Excel I'm doing a formula. I'm going to compare that one and say, is that sale, rod sale, greater than or equal to, remember greater than or equal to is, is determined by the contract, right? If they're kind, they have equal to, so if you get exactly 20,000, you get the bonus. All right, so we're going to compare that to that. Now, when we copy this down, that blue one right there needs to move relatively. But what about this one? When I copy it down, I sure don't want that green box moving down also. So I'm going to hit the F4 key one, two times, because I'm copying this across the number. So I want the row reference, the 9 locked. Control Enter, and I can double click and send it down. All right, so I and it, it looks like uh, that's working just fine. We can click in the last cell and hit F2. Beautiful. Now, guess what? We're actually going to use that same logical test here and here. 
But what if I copied this over here and hit F2? Oh, look, they both move. That's not what I want at all. So watch this. Here's a great formula copying trick. If it's in edit mode and you highlight this, because we're going to use that same logical test in two ifs over here, if we highlight it when I control C, it's not copying a cell reference. It's copying the letter B, the letter 3, etc. So edit mode is a great way to kind of trick the cell references. I'm going to click Escape. Now I can come over here and do my if. Equal sign to start the formula. If the logical test, control V for paste. Notice that's still B3, because when you copy it in edit mode, it's just text. But when you place it into the formula, boom, it's live again. It's really looking at that cell reference. Comma, the value of true, I want a yes. I'm going to type a comma to get to the next argument. Oh, false? No. Again, it's just one of two things going into a cell based on this logical test, which delivers true or false. Control Enter, double click and send it down. Perfect. False? No. False? No. True? Yes. All right, let's try it over here. Equals if Control V. Beautiful. Still looking at the right one. Comma. The value if true, oh, 750. I'm going to hit F412 because I'm copying it down across the column, down across the row, so that the number is locked. Comma, value if false, I'm just going to type in a zero. Control Enter, double click and send it down. Ah, look at that, false, no, zero. True, yes, 750. Wow, so the if function, quite uh, spectacular. We saw logical tests, comparative operators, if to put one of two words, if to put one of two numbers. In our next video, we will see uh, another very commonly used function called the VLOOKUP. All right, see you next video.